Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Gold Rush The Game tutorial. On today's video we're going to be covering the magnetite separator and how to get it set up. We're also going to cover exactly what you get out of the magnetite separator. To get the magnetite separator set up we're going to need a small hose, a large hose with a water filter, a small water pump, obviously the magnetite separator, the generator, a small power rope, and three buckets. Once you get all this equipment back to your base, get it to a suitable location and you can begin to hook it up. Take your small hose, connect it to your water pump and connect it to the back of the magnetite separator. And then we will need to attach our generator. So use your small power rope, attach it to the generator and connect it to the front. Perfect. Once you've got it all hooked up, we'll need to place the buckets underneath the magnetite separator. One of them will be collecting your gold, and the other one says dirt, but it is actually collecting the magnetite from the machine. Now we can go ahead and start up our generator and our pump. We can go over to our magnetite separator, ensure that the start button is pressed, and we can begin using it. Now all you have to do is take a bucket, dump it into the top, and then wait. The machine will separate the gold from the magnetite and put it in two separate buckets. Now that we have the magnetite separator hooked up, we can go ahead and do a little test. We have 10 buckets here. I'm going to run 10 of them through the magnetite separator and then run them through the wavetable to see how much gold it yields. And then I'm going to reload the safe and run the same 10 buckets just through the wavetable. And we're going to see if the amount of gold is affected by running it through the magnetite separator. Now I'm not going to bore you with this whole process, so I'll run it and fast forward here. The results aren't that surprising. When you run it through the magnetite separator, you get 0.778 ounces of gold per bucket and when you don't run it through the magnetite separator you get 0.779 ounces of gold. Now I would say that this is so close that you really can't say that there's a difference. It appears the magnetite separator has no effect on the amount of gold that you get from each bucket. Now I've had some questions on whether or not it's really worth it to run it through the magnetite separator. So I'm actually going to be creating an entire video discussing that, which I'll link here at the end. As you can see, the magnetite separator is pretty easy to hook up, and you don't lose any gold when you run pay dirt through it. But I think we're going to have to do just a little bit more research to see if it's really worth using. Thank you for joining me on this episode. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any comments of videos that you think I should do, go ahead and leave that in a comment below. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bushwaka out.